Hello everyone, this is the Shawnee. This is my video about my solar panel system that I just finished to set up after about two weeks as I had to purchase all my components of eBay. Here are the two solar panels. This one here is 100, 100 watts and 120 watts. They connected in in parallel so they put out 12 volts and about 10 amps together they both all the, the cable wiring is going through these pipes so they're protected by the sun and rain over the other side I've got a power charge controller of eBay as well and connected to it a computer fan I'll turn it on so it just keeps the controller nice and cool the power charge controller is 30 amps So we've got connected both solar panels in parallel, they're connected to the input here and then a positive and a negative connection going to the battery bank and this, uh, this wires here, they supply the little fan here for cooling. So let's see what the, the meter says. It says today I've taken 24.1 amps hour. Two days ago, uh, yesterday 32.9 amps hour. Ye uh, two days ago 16.6 .6 amps hour. It shows that the batteries, uh, battery bank is charging now. Battery volt is 14 volts. The uh, power solar panels giving 14.2 volts. The current is 10.9 amps coming from the coming from the solar panels. From here, so I'll, I have the, the battery bank just there. So I've got one regular car battery, about 85 amps, and two deep cycle batteries rated at 26 amp each, all connected in parallel as well. So they put out 12 volt and combined uh, about 26. 52 with 85 137 amps here I've got a temperature temperature reader which I still need to attach it to the battery so when the battery reaches a, a certain temperature that's this wire here It seems that uh, goes into the power controller, so we shut down the, the power to the batteries. Let's see how it goes. We start. Actually, I've got. I forgot to to tell you about the power inverter. It's 2,400 watts. It's a pretty pretty big inverter. So the, this one inverts uh, the power from DC to AC from 12 volt to 240 volt. So let's let's start a few components to see how to see how it works. So firstly, 
as well the, the inverter has two settings one to show you the how many watts uh, are connected to it and what's the battery voltage so the battery voltage at this stage is 14 volt and going up is the, the solar panels are charging the batteries and amps at this uh, watts at this stage I've got nothing connected to it so it's on zero so let's start with the, the big things so I'm going to turn on the laptop laptop charger I don't know if you see but the laptop is charging it's right there next I'm gonna turn on the another another power board where I've got connected a just a camera spare battery charger which is charging at the moment we'll turn the TV on This is not the best camera, so the image is kind of rolling, but I've got a fairly good image on TV. Anyways, going ahead, let's have a look what the, what the inverter says. So it says that so far we have 100 watts coming out. I have another fan here. I'll turn this one on too. It points towards the inverter so it, so it cools it and keeps it cool at the same time. It shows 160 to 180 watts, 180 watts. We'll turn the second fan on. We've got 200 watts. We've got to start it. Okay, so that's just our run two. So we're running 220. There's 220 watts. Battery is at 12.7. And uh, as well, I've got connected here mobile phone charger. You can probably just see that it's charging. Okay, nice sunny day here in Australia. So, two solar panels, 220 watts together. Big inverter, battery bank, power charge controller.